Hi guys, I thought I'd put together a quick uh, kind of an overview or a summary of what uh, I would expect to see in the final project. Um, I have talked about this a couple number of times in class, but I thought I'd just give one quick overview again in video format so that anyone who's missed that can um, see or can hear what, uh, what we were talking about in class. Uh, essentially, you're just making up your own Alice world, and um, you're going to attempt to just show me what all you have learned <laughs> in Alice, in Alice only, no, no HTML or, or CSS, um, over the last several months. Um, I would focus, really, or attempt to make as much use as possible of control structures. They are a very important uh, feature in programming languages, and that is effectively what we're trying to do. We're trying to learn to study here, or we're studying uh, how to program. You may not realize that which that's what you're doing, but that is, uh, in effect, what's happening. Um, and those control structures are important in all programming languages. So they, they are something that um, are very important uh, to, <laughs> to, to try and show in your project as best you can. Now, I don't want to create a, a list, per se, of of particular things that I I, I want to see in the program in the final project because well for example in the midterm we had to create HTML and I and I specifically asked for a table right in the HTML so a table may or may not have been appropriate in for your design of your website that you were going to submit. Uh, we wound up, if it wasn't appropriate, you wound up having to shoehorn one in there anyway. Um, and so it's kind of a forced fit. Not every single HTML element is necessary in every single uh, web page that you develop, right? And likewise, when you build a, a, a piece of software using uh, programming uh, and using constructs that are available in the, the programming language, that you wouldn't necessarily use every single possible construct available, right? It kind of depends on what your design's going to be and what it is you're trying to achieve as to what you're going to use in that program. So it, I, I don't really want to force you to, I, I want you to be just be creative about the creation of of this final project. And so I, I don't see how it's possible to do both things, to allow you to to be creative and create whatever kind of world you want, yet require specific constructs that may or may not be appropriate for your design and for your 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 concept, your idea of what you want to build. Um, that said, it is nearly every single programming project would contain at least one of the possible control structures. <laughs> now you don't know every possible one. Uh, but there should be some sort of loop or some sort of uh, selection structure. So a loop would be called a repetition structure. A uh, selection structure, an example for us, is the if-else. Um, you should show uh, the use of a method. So you'll have your very first method, which typically in, in these labs that we've been doing would be called my first world, probably. Um, it's the very first one that you're typically writing code in and then you would have created another one another method and uh, you would call that new method from my first world all right so my uh, methods can call methods <laughs> so my first world is just a for is a method like any other and um, every additional method can call any of the other elements and so I know in one of the one of the uh, labs you you passed a parameter so that that's an important construct so if you could for sure get in there uh, creating a new method and passing a parameter to it that accomplishes something whatever might fit your design um, and then um, utilizing maybe utilize that that parameter that you sent which is probably a value right could be six or whatever um, uh, in some way in a control structure so maybe you're going to do something six times, right? So we would repeat six times. So we would, in this hypothetical scenario that I'm creating, we have created or we've developed um, a method that passes parameters to another method. 
or a parameter to another method which would in turn utilize that parameter in a control structure possibly returning a value and and maybe displaying that value or something I don't know uh, again this is this is all somewhat hypothetical uh, on a kind of a typical way that it would work that kind of an interaction would work where uh, you'd have one method passing um, a parameter to another method so th those constructs are all things that we worked with and so naturally some of the very early ones the design process and um, and the programming analysis is very very rudimentary too there isn't probably anything specific that you could pull out of those necessarily just the fact that you're creating a world at all and um, and, and, and placing your avatars I'll call them avatars in that world probably covers the only things that were handled in those videos right uh, the very first video we watched well the very first video was simply these are the things Alice can do or we can do with Alice these are the kinds of things some of the kinds of things then the next one really was just simply um, how do you even get started and what what is this interface all about all of these parts of this interface right so it's kind of a it was a walkthrough uh, of the the, uh, the development environment IDE integrated development environment and, and then we began to move forward and as far as we got was control structures um, so that's as far as you need to go uh, so that's kind of the idea. It's pretty. It's pretty open. You can choose whatever you want to do. Just try to uh, include <laughs> methods, parameters, control structures. Would I, I would say would be the most important thing, and just make up anything that you want that that does that. Uh, try to have some fun with it, so it can maybe I can get a chuckle when I watch it. <laughs> uh, that would be a good idea. All right. Hopefully that's helpful for you guys. Uh, any further questions? You can catch me in class. All right, bye.